Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at the ongoing traffic jam on the superhighway in the sky around planet Earth. We've got all kinds of near-Earth objects, asteroids, comets that are headed this way. Luckily, right now, none of them are headed directly towards planet Earth, but we've got several going past the planet right now as I do this video. But first, I want to thank William Lair for the amazing artwork this little poster he made. It says Mr. MBB 333.com your sky watchman look at all the detail that that William took the time to, to put together the triangles in the sky tucked in behind the clouds got the big double-decker rainbows that we see so often in the videos that that I put together that you guys see from all around the world that's an awesome poster thank you William I, I greatly appreciate that I also want to thank Randy L Susan and Shirley S for the kind mail I received the other day. That was very thoughtful. Thank you guys, and thank you again, William, for the awesome artwork. Now back to the traffic jam, so to speak, up in the sky on the superhighway around planet Earth. I made this little sky map to kind of put things into perspective of how close a lot of these things come to our planet and we've got many more out there that we haven't even identified yet and more than likely some of these coming in right now may not be alone these are just the larger ones that that have been identified there could be smaller ones that are traveling with this over 10 right now just in the last 48 hours including today we're going to look we're looking at the near earth object list from spaceweather.com and the ones that are highlighted are exceptionally close just from the 21st we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twenty first through the twenty third the majority of those today right now on the twenty second there are several going past the planet on the twenty first yesterday there was one that was eight hundred and ninety two meters wide that was three thousand feet but it safely went past the earth at sixteen point one ld one ld is the equivalency of the distance between the earth and the moon and you can see there's one today in that category there's also one at one point five another one at one ld very close to the planet that's why i put this together this is just for today and that's not counting the, the eight comets that are inbound. I've put together a little map of, of the comets that are all coming in. Here's eight known comets, and that's including the MacHoltz family that's coming in. And they are right here. Three MacHoltz family comets, 2A, 2, and 2D. And this is where they're going to be with their closest approach to the Earth at the end of the year, actually in November and October. You've got 2A coming up on the inside of Earth, along with 2 and 2D just on the outside of the Earth. Very close. More than likely, those will be visible from planet Earth in the fall of this year. Here we've got five. We've got Comet Lemon. We've got Comet Atlas. We've got Comet Panstars. We've got Comet Swan. And we've got Comet Neowise. These are all inbound right now as I do this video. We got Comet Atlas. Its perihelion is May 31st. Also perihelion, Panstars, May 31st. We've got Comet Swan with a perihelion of May 27th. Comet Neowise with a perihelion of July 1st. Comet Lemon with a perihelion of July the 9th. Again, these are just the known comets. Comet Swan was just discovered a few weeks ago, right after Comet Atlas. So don't be surprised if there aren't more comets and more near-Earth objects clogging up the superhighway in the sky here in the coming days and weeks ahead because it seems like we have moved into very active territory. And don't be surprised if some of these larger ones that have been identified like I said, aren't pulling smaller ones with them that could be influenced by Earth's gravity coming into the atmosphere, putting on quite a light show like they saw down in southern Australia. Some say this may have been space debris. Others are saying this was a fireball. The color kind of implies it might have been a fireball, but its longevity and the way it disintegrated into the atmosphere does kind of imply it may have been a uh, piece of space debris. Don't know. Didn't see it. I'm still trying to figure out what went on right there. Also, I want to share with you guys some little video clips I put together. This is of an amazing electrical cloud off the coast of Florida right here. Video was sent in by Patty O, who witnessed this cloud. There it is from space on the GO-16. Right there is where she was. 
looking out towards St. Augustine. Patty's from Fleming Island, which are very close to each other. She said, this is crazy. It was nonstop cloud to cloud lightning in that cloud that was right there. You could see off the coast of Florida, highly energetic. Called that an electric cloud because most of the energy in that cloud stayed in the clouds. Here's a little collage of Comet Atlas that's coming in. I call this the, the four-headed comet. As this comet is getting close to its perihelion date, it's got four smaller comets now that make up one large coma. So in a sense, it's kind of a four-headed comet making its way towards the inner solar system. Here's a collage of Comet Swan. Some beautiful pictures uh, taken by Gerald Riemann and Esposito from spaceweather.com. There's all kinds of awesome photos you guys will have to stop by there and check out of, of all of these comets that are coming in. Like I said, there's eight known right now, and there very well could be a few more. Something else that's worth noting in the, in the western sky you might be able to catch a glimpse of here in the next few days if it's not cloudy or maybe you've already seen it, but Venus and Mercury are visible in the western sky after sunset. You don't see Mercury very often, you see Venus quite a bit, but there's Mercury right there below Venus in the western sky, and it won't be there long because it moves quick. Right there it is. I got the camera out a couple of nights ago. It was really clear. If there's no clouds in your area, it's definitely worth a look. I zoomed in tight on Mercury, and at least on the settings I had on my camera, it almost had the, the same appearance as a small Jupiter, at least with regard to the the golden color Venus looked the same, kind of a light purple, if you will. There's a sky map on the left, and that is exactly where they were in the sky on the right. Here I'm zooming in on Mercury, the fast-footed one, and it won't be there long. Here in just about three days, it will be tucked in down behind the sun where you won't be able to see it after sunset, or at least it'll be close enough to the sun where the corona will block its light from visibility down here on the earth here's a little video clip i took of the the two and it was a very clear night so i went out and took advantage of it i watched them for about i don't know 30 minutes i got several photos here's one here as it was starting to get more dark there's venus and there's mercury pretty cool not something you see every day kind of like this here i, I noticed some sun diving comets on the SOHO instrument as I'm looking for the comets that are coming in right now. A lot of times they'll show up, see that one right there? They'll show up on these instruments, sometimes in dramatic form. Watch this here, right in this area. See, there's a little sun diver right there. And then there's also another one that comes into the picture right here. It almost splits into two. See it? There it goes. And it almost looks like it branches off into two comets. That's on the Lasco C2 instrument, the SOHO spacecraft. And then I also checked out the Lasco C3, which is just a wider field of view. And I'm looking for the comets that are inbound as of right now, the 22nd of May, not visible on the SOHO instrument, but we're also keeping a close eye on the stereo instrument because this is what PanStars did a few years ago. In fact, it was March 13th, of 2013. Boy, you talk about a spectacular view. We might get that with either Comet Swan, Comet Atlas, maybe both. Who knows? May, may see Neowise on there, may see Pan Stars again. We'll have to wait and see. But as I said earlier, sometimes they show up on these instruments in quite dramatic fashion as they're fighting that solar wind, and that's what's creating these, these dramatic effects of the tail is the solar wind. Right there it is. See a big cloud of solar wind influencing the tail? It is quite a show. So hopefully we will uh, see that again this year with one, maybe two, who knows, maybe three of those comets. Wanted to give you guys a quick update on the alien asparagus, as some people are calling it, out in my front yard. Here's a look at it on May 13th. It was 67 inches. And what's so cool about this is how fast it grows. Just unbelievable. Never seen anything quite like it. Took a measurement yesterday. There it is up near 89 inches. That's 22 inches in seven days. And in fact, I measured it this morning and it's up in the 92 inch range. 
just unbelievable. I, I've never seen anything like that. It's not the plant itself. Um, it's just how fast it grows. Never seen anything grow quite that fast. Quite remarkable. Also noticed some activity on the Schumann Resonance. What we're looking at over here on the 19th. That was from a inbound solar wind stream. And then on the 21st, I noticed some unusual readings. I don't know if you guys noticed those too, but they look like little spheres on the Schumann Resonance data. Never really seen anything quite like that before. That's quite unique. Don't know what that meant. There was some activity also on the 21st going into the 22nd, but I don't know what those round dots mean. I've never seen anything quite like that on the Schumann, especially two, let alone one. If you guys are new viewers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you're current subscribers, double check. Make sure you're still subscribed and make sure that bell is still activated. Also, you can find the patron link down below in the description box. Please consider becoming a patron. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. Link down below in the description box. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. And sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.